Welcome, welcome to Singapore, welcome to RazorCon 2020. We have got an amazing, amazing show lined up for all of you. We're going to have new product introductions. We're going to have um, sneak peeks into future products. We'll have uh, game trailers. We're going to have an awesome after party headlined by friends of mine, um, Dead Mouse, um, Dragon Force, Sabaton, and much, much more. I'm sure you guys are kind of looking forward to that. So, and I can see the stream, you know, going crazy and, and all that coming through. But I just kind of want to set the stage for everyone right now. We are here in beautiful, beautiful Singapore, streaming live to you everywhere in the world, in the US, Europe, Asia. And uh, to my right, you can actually see the iconic Marina Bay Sands Hotel, made famous by the movie Crazy Rich Asians. To my left, you've got the phenomenal, beautiful, beautiful night skyline of Singapore. Now, we're here right on the water of the Marina Bay, and it's truly incredible, made possible by, thank you very much, of course, to the Singapore Tourism Board. And we're here, myself, born and bred from Singapore, and I'm really proud to be able to bring the first RazorCon 2020 to everyone live right here in Singapore. So, without much further ado, I want to kind of jump straight into it. But before that, I want to chat a little bit about how special this live stream is. This is a mixed reality live stream. I'm sure you've realized that uh, for those of you who are equipped with uh, Razer Chroma devices, your Chroma devices have now been taken over by the stream itself. You're going to see special kind of effects coming through uh, from the stream. And what I have over here is a mixed reality kind of uh, screens over here, where I can see live all the comments that you have, you know, streaming down from the Twitch chat. This stream is actually live, not just on Twitch, it's live on Facebook, it's live on YouTube, it's live on Twitter, TikTok, much, much more. And of course, to our friends in China, hello all of you guys, it's, this is also live on Huya, Bilibili, and JD.com. So this is going live everywhere in the world, and I can actually see everyone's uh, comments coming through on Twitch. Why don't we just pull down the uh, chat panel? Can we have that? So as you can see, I can actually see the chat panel live over here. I can see all the nice things you're saying about me and all the rude things you're saying about me also at the same time. Uh, I can see toaster icons going nuts. Um, let's hide that. Once I see the toaster icons, I'm hiding the, the chat panel. But essentially, I can see all of that. And this is a mixed reality set. So I want to be able to take this through to the next level. So, without much further ado, let's get the party going, all right? So, RazorCon 2020. Now, why are we holding this? Of course, every year we hold these massive, massive events. We, we go to a certain city, we've been planning this for quite a while. So, what we've done, pretty much, is we've brought all our offline events, put it all together into a single event called RazorCon. And we're going to be holding this annually, streamed live to you, Everywhere, hopefully next year, we'll be able to find a city to, to host this. But because thousands and thousands and thousands of you tend to come by and, and check out our stores and, and camp overnight for our new product launches, we wanted to be able to bring this live to every single one of you in the safety of your homes. So what happened in 2020? Let's do a quick, quick recap. It's October. It's 1010 10 October. Uh, it's 1010 10 right now. What has happened in the first part of the year? Well, pretty much the COVID-19 pandemic, and I think all of you will know as well as I do, us gamers, we were built for the pandemic. Stay home, we are totally for it. We've been staying home, staying safe, and gaming on. Streams have gone up, it's been insane. We've seen gaming activity up through the roof. But what we did, I think at Razer, together with the community, was that we wanted to do something to aid the fight against COVID. Now, before I jump into the keynote proper, I kind of want to chat a little bit about something that we did. Hashtag Razor for Life. Many of you always talk about Razor for Life because you're committed to the cause of for gamers, by gamers. We kind of co-opted it and changed the hashtag to hashtag Razor for Life to kind of put together all the work that we're doing at this point of time for the fight against COVID. Now, at this juncture, I can see actually, in fact, over here, I can see a concurrent stream of all the streams uh, put together, concurrent numbers, it's close to 600,000 already. So 
One thing that we do is that we give lots of giveaways as the number goes up, so make sure you're sharing it. If you are subscribed to one of the channels or you've got a chance to subscribe, so, so do subscribe to it or share the stream right now. I can see the numbers going up and it's consolidated across because we've got some awesome giveaways. But let me go on and chat a little bit about Razor for Life. What did we do? Well, we converted our manufacturing facilities right away when we knew this was happening to make face masks. In fact, we actually set up an entirely high quality, fully certified face mask manufacturing facility right here in Singapore within 30 days. And what did we do when we made all these face masks, surgical masks along the way? We wanted to make sure that it hit and got to every single one of the um, frontline workers that we could help. So what we did was we donated a million masks globally, worldwide. And that's what we did. We shipped a million of them. And I'm really excited to say that of that million, 75,000 of the masks were actually donated by the community through Razor Silver. And that's something I'll talk a little bit about later. But 75,000 of the masks were actually donated by the community. So thank you very, very much. We're still aiding the fight against COVID, but all of you guys out there who donated your Razor Silver were part of this. So, which countries did we get it out to? Brazil, Canada, um, Malaysia, you know, Germany, Singapore, much, much more, and in the United States, everywhere. And we've seen really great feedback from our hashtag Razor for Life initiative, and that's still going on. We believe that we've got a, play, a part to play in terms of this. We've also put together a $50 million COVID support fund um, for our business partners as part of Razor Gold, Razor Fintech, and Z Ventures. So, hashtag Razor for Life. I'd love to see um, all of you guys. Shall we do a giveaway, a quick giveaway on all our channels? And that's what we're doing right now. We're doing quick giveaways on all our channels, everywhere you're watching. Let's take a pause over here and make sure you're sharing those channels. Now, we're watching this. If you're watching this, make sure that you're sharing the channel to as many people out there. Hashtag Razor for Life. And we are just about to get started. We're going to have some insane stuff that's coming along the way, and I can see it right now with all the streams coming through. Razor for Life, thank you very much. We are doing this together, for gamers by gamers, together as Razor, as the Razor community. So, are you guys ready? Why don't we just put on the chat panel real quick? I'd like to see what you guys think we're going to be launching today. Any guesses along the way? I can actually see that coming through. Any guesses what we're going to be launching today? Because I'm going to jump straight into the first product pretty soon, except the toaster. All right, let's see. What do we have? OK, there's a whole bunch of uh, suggestions over there. Well, I, I can see the concurrent numbers going up. So make sure that you guys are sharing the stream and we're getting through. I see keyboard, uh, new mouse, so on and so forth. OK, and the chat stream is going nuts. OK, let's hide the, the chat stream at this point of time. And I'm going to go straight into our first product. Without much further ado, in a single line, perfect gaming form. So a couple of months ago, I shared something that happened to me. I had a really bad back and a really bad neck. I've been going for, for therapy. I've been going through all that. And one of the reasons why I've had to go through so much pain, so much agony, was pretty much about the fact that I had one of these really nice looking uh, racing gaming chairs. They look great. And I've been on that, I've been playing extensively and working from home and all that kind of stuff. But it gave me a really, really bad back. So something I realized was that these chairs look fantastic. They look great, but they were not designed to be ergonomic. So what we did was we put together some of the best ergonomic scientists in the world. What we wanted to do was to design an ergonomic gaming chair, not just any gaming chair, but a truly ergonomic gaming chair. So how did we do that? Well, before we get to that point, we've got to make sure that we get to the ideal gaming posture. And there's a whole lot of science that goes in terms of this, all right? What do we need to do? Well, essentially, a neutral spine position. That's what we really want to achieve, you know, for really for consistent posture and performance. And one of the biggest things, and, and this, you know, you can see the slide behind me. This shows what a traditional, you know, non-ergonomic gaming chair has. 
it's got no support, right? They, they attempt to put a little bit of things here and there, but there's typically no support. And when we want that perfect gaming form, we've got to be able to do this. We've got to be able to support the spine's natural posture. So that's what we did. What else? Optimize reach. You know, we want to be able to reach everything there is on the, on the, on the desk, to be able to play, to be able, to, be able to, to work, so on and so forth. And a couple of things that we need to do. You know, we've went, gone everything in terms of the inclination of the, the elbow, it's got to be flush to the armrest, and a whole bunch of other things. It's got to be truly, truly customizable. A whole bunch of things needs to be done, whether it's moving side to side, the degree of rotation, so on and so forth. What else? We've got to be able to minimize the aches and the strains. And it's got to be a neutral position. You know, neither leaning forward nor, nor, nor backward. And everything from having the, the seat, you know, to have enough comfort, but still, you know, sub, uh, giving enough support. So, and a whole bunch of other things where the backrest incline, the, the seat tilt, the height, so on and so forth. So we've got to be able in designing a true ergonomic gaming chair to be able to balance comfort without diluting the ergonomics. And it all goes in terms of things like materials, where there's a cushion materials, a surface area, so on and so forth. So we've gone through all that science, we've gone through all that design, we've gone through all that engineering, and what do we have? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm incredibly proud to announce our very first gaming chair, and not just any gaming chair, a ergonomic gaming chair, something built ground up to ensure that we've got all the ergonomics and everything that looks really cool in a gaming chair. And we're calling it the Razer Isker. So this is our new gaming chair. Would you guys like to see it? I can see a whole bunch of uh, all the streams going nuts about this. But what I'm going to do is to unveil the chair for everyone for the very first time today. So the Razer Isker, this is how it looks. Isn't it beautiful? We've built so much science, so much technology, and so much engineering into this chair. And I've got a picture of the side profile for you. And this is where the magic truly happens. Look at the side profile carefully. What we've done is to integrate a lumbar support right into the chair itself. And it's fully adjustable. It's an ergonomic lumbar support system to ensure that your spine is always in its neutral position. It allows you to tweak it. It's extendable up to 26 degrees to allow you to ensure that your, your back is always properly supported. What else did we do? It's got a multi-layered synthetic leather um, materials on it. It's got high-density foam cushions. We've even ensured that the head cushion has memory foam. And remember all that inclinations and the, the movements of how we need to get the height and all that right? It's got a 4D armrest. So it allows you to pivot. It allows it to be moved up and down and front and back. The entire chair, we've ensured that you're able to customize the height by itself. It's truly, truly incredible. We've got the backrest incline. We've got the entire chair's seat tilt. And we've really, really engineered this to the hilt. The Razer Isker is engineered to carry up to three, close to 300 pounds, up to 136 kilograms. And we've also engineered this for users up to 6 feet 2 inches, 190 cm. And we've made sure that it's not just the design that we, we put all the efforts into. We've ensured that we've properly tested this over and over and over again in terms of the lumbar support, in terms of uh, the, the load on the, 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 the chair itself, and even the swivel and the pivot. Now, it's not just structure that we care about. We also ensure that the materials are also properly tested. I'm sure you, many of you guys have seen this happen to all these traditional kind of uh, gaming chairs. The materials just peel off. So what we've done is that we've ensured that we've got the surfaces to, to have all that properly tested. Abrasion resistance, we've ensured the coating adhesion is all already properly tested with, with a multitude of different cycles. We've even had a salt spray test. Now, I really don't want to know exactly what you guys do on the chair all the time, that we need to do a salt spray test uh, for 24 hours, but in case you're interested, we actually do this for every single one of the chairs. We make sure it's properly, properly tested. So that's the Razer Isker 
and it looks beautiful. It's an incredible chair, and we've got this in different angles for you to have a look at. This is a perspective shot. This is how it looks from the back over there. So we've got a um, quick advertisement that we've put together, a video ad that we worked with our friends at uh, Mech Warrior to put this through together. And I'm going to show it to you right now. So hold your horses. And this is what it looks like. So that was the ad, that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We've put a lot of work into it. And I'm sure the next question that all of you have is that this is an incredible, incredible chair. Built ground up as an ergonomic gaming chair. How much is it gonna cost? And for those of you who are in the know, doing a really great ergonomic chair usually costs quite a bit. And most of the Ergonomics um, designed uh, chairs can cost up to about $1,500. So, does the Razer cost $1,500? Uh, the Razer Isker cost $1,500? No. Is it going to cost $1,000? No. Well, the Razer Isker is going to retail at just $499. And it's going to be available right after this keynote. You can buy it online at razer.com. It's going to be shipping. So make sure that all the things that we have is going to be, that we unveiled today, it's going to be available right online at razor.com after the keynote is done. And it's just $499, all right? So we're really proud of it. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as we've done in terms of uh, designing and engineering it. And the details, we have a full details and demo at 4.15 um, Pacific time after this uh, keynote. So make sure you stay online. We've got all kinds of stuff. We've got great giveaways. And at this point of time, let's make sure that we do more, um, share the stream. We've got, oh wow, we've got 750,000. Oh wow, I'm sorry, the numbers are going up again. In terms of, we've now crossed a million concurrent viewers on this, we've, whether it's on Twitch, on Huya, Billy Billy, so on and so forth. This is very cool. We've got lots more giveaways coming through. I'm sure we've got some insane giveaways that are coming through to every single one of you. Make sure you're sharing the Twitch stream, make sure you're sharing the Huya stream, make sure you're sharing the JD.com stream. It's really getting out there. All of you guys are watching this. I'm sure that you guys are enjoying what we've got. Now, and we've just barely gotten started. So, we've talked about the Razer Isker. Let's go on and talk a little bit about what has been happening in the past couple of months, which is really all about streaming. So let's talk about the Razer Streamer program. So the Razer Streamer program, and I was actually on the Twitch chat a little while earlier. I saw a couple of Razer Streamers there. And in case you're not on the Razer Streamer program, if you are a streamer, you should definitely get on it. Today, we've got over 30,000 members on the Razer Streamer program, and we've got monthly rewards for every single one of you. We, are, we do cold streaming on the Razer channels. We've got free streaming hardware. We've got Razer Gold, so make sure if you are a streamer, you're signing up on razer.com backslash razer-streamer right away and join the 30,000 streamers on our platform. Now, talking a little bit about the streaming hardware that we've got, we make some of the best streaming hardware on the planet. And it starts from everything from the Razer Kiyo streaming camera, which I apologize if you guys have been trying to get hold of it. This is probably the best streaming camera today. It's been highly regarded, it's been a critical and commercial success. And um, we are trying to keep it in stock at all times. Every time it's listed, please make sure that you sign up for the Notify Me. And uh, we've got the Ripsaw um, uh, card. We've also got the um, Siren mics. And speaking about the Siren mics, we've spent an insane amount of time engineering the very best streaming mics out there. And we've got the Siren Elite, 
We've got the Siren Emote, and we've also got the uh, Siren X right in front of you here. But one of the things that we've heard from our 30,000 Razer streamers out there is that some of you, I understand, travel quite a bit. And you'd like to be able to bring your mic alongside with you. And you'd like a little bit more of a compact mic, a smaller mic, a mini mic. So what we've done is that we've made, in a single line, clarity made compact. So I'm excited to be able to announce for the first time again the Razer Siren Mini microphone. And it looks just like this. It's a really small, mini, cute little mic. But it's, it's got a really mighty set of uh, technical specifications. It's got professional recording quality. It's got an ultra precise, super cardioid pickup pattern. And of course, it's got an ultra, ultra compact build. So let's go through the uh, points in uh, greater detail. Now it's got a high performance frequency response. It's got crystal clear sound from a much flatter response curve. Now it's got a super cardioid pickup pattern. So this means that it's, you pretty much get more voice and less background noise compared to traditional cardioid mics. What else? Well, let's look at the size. Compared with the rest of the mics, it's standing at just 6.4 inches. It's a really tiny mic, and it packs a tremendous, tremendous punch. So that's the Razer Siren Mini. For the first time ever, we're announcing it over here at RazorCon. And it's going to retail at a really mini price at just $49.99. It's an amazing mic at an amazing, amazing price. It's available right after this keynote at Razer.com. So make sure you guys are signing up for it right away. So it's an amazing microphone for, and it's a, got a great price alongside. But I see that some of you guys want even more. So what do we have? Well, we've got it in additional colors. We've got it in mercury white, and of course in quads also at the same time. And it's all gonna be available right after the keynote is done at razor.com. So, and we'll have more details. We have a session at 5.30 Pacific time where members of our team are gonna go take you through it. They're gonna talk a little bit about the, um, the, the recording quality, so on and so forth. So that is something that we have. Now, remember we talked a little bit about the colors. So we've gone through the uh, Razer Iska. We've talked about the um, Siren Mini. And now, chatting a little bit about quartz. And I'm going to take a pause here and see how many people that we have. Oh, we've got a million concurrent views, over a million concurrent views right now. So make sure that you guys are sharing this. And by the way, this is our, one of our hydrator um, bottles, which is doing incredibly well. And I think we even had a, a limited edition in quartz too. So make sure that you guys are sharing the stream at this point of time. And I can actually literally see the concurrent views at this juncture. Remember, this stream is live on Twitch. It's live on, on Facebook. It's live on YouTube. You know, it's live on uh, Bilibili. It's live on TikTok, Twitter, um, JD.com, and Huya. So make sure that you guys are sharing this and getting as many people. I know members of um, the moderators on the stream are doing huge, huge giveaways at this point of time on the stream. Now, talking about streaming, next up, after the Razer Siren Mini, we've got a really kind of special announcement for everyone, and it is the meow factor. Now, those of you who follow us, uh, your fans, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. A couple of years ago, we had um, some of, of our fans really passionate about trying to get us to put kitty ears on um, our headphones, and we created the uh, Razer Kitty Krakens. And the Razer Kitty Krakens has become that meow factor that has made it probably the most popular headset for all the streamers out there. I dare say that most of you have seen this on stream, on one of the streamers or, or other. And it's a pretty exciting time for us to see you know, how we've graduated from just kitty ears to, to a, a USB chroma-enabled um, 
uh, kitty ear set that actually syncs up along with the streams at the same time. But one of the things I keep hearing from all the streamers are that all of you are using it in the streams, but some of you want to take it out of the house. So today I'm really excited to be able to say that we've got this insane new product. We've now made the Razer Kitty Krakens mobile, and we're calling it the Razer Kitty Kraken Bluetooth Edition. So I'm sure all of you guys would like to be able to say that. Um, you know, honestly, if the concurrent streams are much higher, I would be definitely wearing one at this point of time. It's only a million at this, uh, at this juncture. Um, if it went up, I would definitely be, be sporting them at this point of time. But I'm going to show you how we've designed it. We've made it super, super, super light, all right? We've made them thinner, and this is how it looks. These are the new Razer Kraken Bluetooth editions. I'll show you a close-up of the ear cups. Here's a picture on the side. And I've, I've got a friend, uh, Wenji, who's now uh, the product model for us. And I'm going to show you a picture of, of a Wenji together with our new Kitty Krakens, Bluetooth edition. We've completely untethered it. There it is. You can see the kitty ears. It's right in front of you, and that's Wenji. And what is really special all right, about the uh, kitty ears is that the kitty ears and the ear cups are actually synced up with Razer Chroma RGB. You can set it to any color that you like, 16.8 million colors, any of the colors. Um, you're able to uh, uh, have it sync up to the music that you've got. So basically, you'll sync up to whatever music they've got, the beats and stuff like that. And it's really, really crazy. And you can see, for those of you who are enabled with Chrome at home, we have actually got the wave effect now going all the way through. And it's really, really, really cool. All right? So it's pretty dope. Now, what else? It's powered with Bluetooth 5.0. It's really for that wireless connection. This was designed for you to be able to take outside. This was designed to be super light with ultra long battery life. And we forgot 40 milliseconds of low latency connection for seamless, seamless, lag-free music and gaming audio. So it's really very cool. So that's the Razer Kitty Kraken's Bluetooth edition. And it's going to retail at just $99.99 right after this keynote. Remember, we've got limited stocks for this available right here today at Razer.com after this keynote. And it's going to be pretty cool. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing so much excitement for the product at this point of time. And something that we've kind of come up together with our friends at TikTok is a challenge. And we call it the hashtag Razer Learn to Meow Dance Challenge. All right, and we've put together a quick video to kind of show you what the dance challenge is going to look like. Um, I would love to be able to do it if uh, the concurrent views are much more. If, and I'll totally do it together with Wenji, but um, probably not today, not this RazorCon. And uh, we've put together a video for you guys to actually see what the dan dance challenge looked like. So hashtag Razor learn to meow. Yeah. Right, so that's the video we've kind of put together. Hashtag Razor Learn to Meow. As I said, I would totally love to be able to uh, do the dance challenge. It's actually pretty, <laughs> it's pretty catchy. I must say, I've watched that a couple of times, and it's really quite catchy. Um, I'm not going to do it though, um, so don't worry about it. So you guys are cool. It's going to be fine. So remember, please make sure that you guys are sharing this. More details of the dance challenge. We're going to have that at 12 o'clock PDT. Remember, this the the Razor Kitty Kraken syncs up to the um, Twitch stream, it's going to be pretty cool, and that's what we've got. So that's the Razer Kitty uh, Kraken Bluetooth edition. What do we have next up? Now, this is going to be pretty exciting. We've actually given a bit of a sneak peek for the product before, and we've got it with a single line for it to build it, change it, perfect it. Now, what do you think it is? All right, I see somebody saying, I need to see Min wear those. Well. Uh, I don't think so. Not, not yet. They're CEO meow, all right? 
So what do you think? Build it, change it, perfect it is. Let's pull down the chat box. I'd like to see what people are guessing over here. Okay, I see toaster, toaster. Come on, well, build it, change it, perfect it. How does that kind of sync up with the toaster? Guys, uh, I see a whole bunch of stuff happening. Black Widow and Death at a Wireless. No, it's uh, maybe, maybe not. Wolf Edition, I, I kind of saw that. Keyboard, uh, keyboards, Tomahawk, Naga Ultimate. It's going nuts. Well, all right, okay, let's hide the chat box. We've now got over a million, 1.17 million concurrent viewers on all of this. Make sure you guys are sharing this because we've got something really exciting that we're going to be sharing with every single one of you. Build it, change it, perfect it. But before I tell you about it, I want to chat a little bit about our laptop family, the razor blade line. So the razor blade line, we've got the blade stealth 13 inch. We've got the blade 15 inch. We've got the blade pro 17 inch. I'm going to chat a little bit about each of them. So the Blade Stealth 13, it's the world's first ultra gaming ultrabook. And it's kind of taken the world by storm. You know, it's known to be the best ultrabook on the planet. The Razer Blade Stealth is one of the best ultra, uh, portable laptops on the market by PC Mag. We've also got the Razer Blade 15, the world's smallest gaming laptop. And I'm sure many of you guys follow all and every single one of the um, reviews out there. It's consistently, consistently called the best gaming laptop in the world. In fact, just yesterday and the day before, I've seen even more accolades for it. The absolute best gaming laptop that you can buy, Windows Central. And consistently, we've been setting the bar for gaming laptops everywhere. We've got one of the best thermal solutions available in the Blade 15. And we're, cons we're always pushing engineering right to the limits. And the Blade Pro 17, performance pushed to the edge. Desktop performance in a really portable form factor. We've got the Blade Pro being called the gold standard for ultra thin 17 inch gaming laptops. The Blade Pro is designed to provide a near desktop quality gaming experience, and it absolutely, absolutely achieves the goal. So with that, we, we make the best gaming laptops in the world. We were the first to pioneer the true gaming laptops. And one of the things I consistently, consistently get asked is this. Looking for a premium case. Does Razer make any desktop cases? For gamers by gamers, game on a desktop, where can I find a Razer case? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we gave everybody a sneak peek at CES this year. And today, we're unveiling the Razer Tomahawk gaming case. So, what did we do with the Razer Tomahawk gaming case, well, we're gonna go right into the details and share it with every single one of you. It's got dual-sided detachable glass doors. What have we done? It's got dual-sided, fully tempered glass doors. It's got a 90 degree hinge. You know, it's, it's like a supercar. It's got a 90 degree hinge for easy access to the interior of the case. And of course, it's detachable. You can actually remove each and every one of the doors with a rear hinged design. And it's not just the doors that we were re really focused on. We've looked at the thermal optimization of the cases themselves. It's got optimized airflow. It's got an open mesh design for the Razer Tomahawk, and it's beautiful. It's got support for large radiators for liquid cooling at the same time, up to 360 millimeters. And also, we've got dust guards that prevent up to 40%, over 40% of air particulates. It's got built-in cable management for cable, with cable covers. It's got rear SSD mounts. It's got a power supply and a HDD hard disk drive cabinet. And connectivity, right? It's got convenient front panel connectors. Everything from next generation USB-C ports to dedicated audio ports with headset support. And of course, the legacy devices um, support with USB-A. So it's beautiful, it's beautiful. 
And that's one of the things I, I said when I actually saw the product, I think in its final form. And right now I'm actually gonna show it to every single one of you. And here it is, the new Razer Tomahawk gaming case. And it looks just like this. Is it incredible? It's clean. We've made sure it's designed absolutely clean. And if you guys would like to see the, the doors open, this is how it looks. And I'm now gonna turn it to you with a profile on the side so you can actually see the interior. This is how it looks from the side. And all of you who, who really like clean, ultra, ultra clean matte black designs, this is the case for you. It is beautiful. And for those of you who are passionate about razor green in it, you can light it up. And for those of you who are looking for the additional 60 frames per second in this, well, of course, you know for 60 frames per second, you've got to add razor chroma to it. You can absolutely make it because it's integrated with razor chroma and it looks fantastic. Here's a perspective shot of it. And here it is opened up and it looks perfect. So, really quickly, dual-sided detachable tempered glass doors, thermal optimization with liquid cooling support, built-in cable management, and all of the connectivity that is available to it. USB-C, you know, audio ports, legacy USB-A, and of course, Razer Chroma Underglow, all built into a perfect Tomahawk ATX case. But that is not all. It's not just the ATX Tomahawk that we built, We've also got a mini ITX that we've also designed and engineered. So you've got the Tomahawk ATX and you've got the Tomahawk mini ITX case. And the mini ITX case has all of the goodness of the ATX case, but in a smaller form factor. Dual-sided tempered glass doors, thermal optimization, convenient front panel uh, connectors, and that beautiful Razer Chroma underglow. And it's just fantastic. And I've got a video very quickly to kind of share with every single one of you what it looks like, all right? You guys ready? Here we go. Build it, change it, perfect it. That is the Razer Tomahawk, and it's an incredible, incredible case. So I'm sure you guys are asking, how much is it? When can I get it? Well, really quickly, these are the cases, the ATX and the Mini ITX. The Razer Tomahawk ATX case is gonna retail at just $199.99, available right after this keynote at Razer.com. And the Mini ITX case is just $179.99 dollars 99 cents available to right after this and you can find out more right after this keynote we've got pedro from pcmr that we're going to be giving away an insane rig right after this and he's going to be building some of these rigs and sharing the tomahawk with every single one of you i think um, we've got we've got some of the best graphics cards uh, builds and and battle stations available for every single person and and uh, pedro is going to take us through all of that so find out more at 10 a.m Pacific Standard Time right after this keynote. Now, at this juncture, we're just about halfway through the keynote. We've got tons more that we're gonna be announcing. So make sure that you guys are sharing this to as many people as possible and ensure that you've got this reaching out to as many, many people out there because we've got some pretty cool stuff that we're still gonna be announcing. We're just halfway through and we're gonna have a whole lot of the other giveaways happening, all right? So here we go. Let's talk about the next thing, which is RGB. Remember, it's not just RGB, it's Chroma RGB. And I'm sure that all of you are very familiar with this Chroma RGB logo. And in case you're not aware, what is Chroma RGB? In a single line, Chroma is the world's largest RGB lighting ecosystem. And why is it the world's largest RGB lighting ecosystem? We've got over 500 devices today that are Chroma powered, over 150 
plus games and applications that are natively enabled with Chroma. And we're talking about top games like Fortnite, Overwatch, Call of Duty, and much, much more. We've got over 15 million active users of Chroma everywhere in the world at this point of time. And right now, Chroma, we could have kept it as a closed ecosystem just for Razer, but what we've got is a whole slew of other hardware vendors, other partners that have reached out to us to partner us, to enable all their systems to connect to the world's largest RGB platform. And today we've got over 50 third-party hardware partners. Hardware partners like whom? AMD, MSI, Thermal Take, and much, much more. So we've got all of these guys you know, on the platform. So if you've got a Razer Chroma product, it's gonna be able to sync up to every single one of these partners out there. It's the largest, largest platform for RGB in the world. And it's not just PC partners, we've got smart home partners like Philips, Nanoleaf, and it's all synced up on a single platform, Chroma RGB. Remember, it's not just RGB, it is Chroma RGB. So today, we are welcoming some new partners to Chroma RGB. And the first one is one of our premium sponsors, WD Black, who makes some of the most beautiful SSDs out there. I'm just gonna let the pictures do the talking. They make some of the most premium, beautiful um, storage devices. I'm sure you guys are looking forward to picking one of these up together with the Tomahawk case. And as you can see, it's beautiful. Now, all of their SSDs are gonna be syncing up with Razer Chroma, and it's just beautiful. Now, who else? They're not just the only storage partners that we've got over here. Seagate Gaming is also gonna come on board with Razer Chroma and all of their devices are syncing up to the world's largest RGB platform. So here it is. They make some really, really beautiful devices also at the same time. So we've got Philips Hue, I mentioned, right? Now we've also got one of the largest smart home vendors in China, Yeelite, coming onto the platform too. So, you know, three new partners and counting, the largest RGB. If you want to find a platform that syncs up all the RGB on the planet, Razer Chroma is the number one platform in the world. But there's even more. What else are we powering with, Ray, with Chroma RGB next? Well, an all new announcement. This is what we're gonna be powering next. And it is a fully integrated Chroma RGB motherboard. We've worked closely with our partners, ASRock and AMD to enable this. It's the world's first Chroma RGB integrated motherboard for universal compatibility. It's got limitless, limitless kind of uh, build options with thousands and thousands of ARGB components right from the get-go. This is your ultimate control center for all things RGB. Remember, this is the first, and it's gonna be the first of many. We're seeing a lot of the motherboard partners come to us to enable Chroma RGB from the ground up. We've today announced this with ASRock and AMD. It's got the AMD B550 and X570 chipset. It's gonna be available at the end of the year, Q4 2020. And this is open to all motherboard manufacturers. So please make sure you're reaching out to your motherboard manufacturer before you purchase your motherboard to do your Razer build on your Razer Tomahawk, you know, um, using a WD Black uh, SSD, etc. Remember, ping them and ask, is this Chroma enabled right from the get-go? If not, you've got the ASRock AMD motherboard right there waiting for you. So I think we've got a quick video from our friends at ASRock, Chris, who's uh, over here to tell us a little bit about it. Hi, I am Chris Lee, the general manager of ASRock Motherboard Business Unit. ASRock is really excited to work with a Razer to launch the X570 and B550 Tai Chi Razer Edition motherboards. These two motherboards are particularly designed for the gamers with so many great gaming features. What we're trying to do is provide the ultimate gaming experience to you. Please stay tuned for more updates from ASRock and Razer. All right, thank you very much, Chris. It's been a real pleasure working with you and the team at ASRock and AMD making this happen. Remember, that's the first Chroma-enabled um, 
motherboard built ground up, and you're going to see a lot more happening. That's available in Q4. So at this point, I'm going to take a bit of a pause. I'm going to call on the chat, chat panel again. Let's bring that down. What else do you think we're going to Chroma enable next? And the next product I'm going to show you guys. Now, share the stream, because this is peak RGB. This is peak Chroma RGB. I assure you that you guys are going to really love the next product. Tell me what you guys are going to, what, what you think it's going to be Chroma enabled next. I don't think I've seen a right answer yet. Chroma building, I'm building that uh, at this point of time. I'll show you the Chroma building, but it's not the, the thing. It's not a Chroma hoodie, Chroma monitor. No, nah, it's not a Chroma monitor, wall adapter. I actually literally have not seen any right answers yet. Slippers, no, nah, it's not Chroma slippers. Chroma fridge, no, nah, it's not Chroma fridge. Man, no right answer? <laughs> OK, let's hide the, the chat panel. So we are coming to the end of the year, all right? It's uh, been a crazy, crazy year. And coming to the end of the year, it's quarter four. What's going to happen? Well, festivities are going to happen. And one of the things that we are truly looking forward to at the end of the year it's Christmas. So what are we going to be Chroma enabling next? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the first Christmas tree or Christmas lights that you are going to see integrated with Chroma. Imagine all of the games natively integrated together with your Christmas tree, with your entire room. In fact, we're going to be looking at entire houses powered by the Christmas lights. With this, and we've worked closely, one of the biggest vendors for Christmas lights, Twinkly, to make this happen. Your Christmas tree is going to be synced up together with um, your PC. It's going to be insane. It's going to be really, truly insane. And what's going to happen is all this is going to be synced up. Imagine, well, as you're playing a game, your Christmas tree is going to be syncing up together with um, your PC at the same time. And we've got this really cool video from our friends at Twinkly who's going to be sharing this with you. And think about the, the possibilities are truly limitless. It's going to be truly great, right? We're going to be able to sync up Christmas trees with a Christmas house, so on and so forth. And here's a quick video from our friends at Twinkly to show us how it's going to work. Here we go. So that is sick, and it's available right now. You can go to twinkly.com, where to buy, to kind of check it out. And we'll have more details at 4.30 Pacific time. So that is peak Chroma RGB. Next up, let's talk a little bit about Razer Gold. For those of you who are already using Razer Gold, you'll know that it's one of the world's largest virtual credits for gamers for, in the world. And in a single line, whatever you play, pay with Razer Gold. Why? Well, you can pay with um, Steam, Blizzard, uh, Twitch, League of Legends, so on and so forth, with Razer Gold. And there are 33,000 games and entertainment titles that you can actually pay with Razer Gold. And how do you buy Razer Gold? Well, pretty much you can pick it up online, anywhere in the world. In the US, uh, you could be with Visa, um, in, in Europe at Media Mart, um, uh, Visa, uh, again, which is one of our great partners, True Money in Thailand, so on and so forth. And offline channels. You've got a ton of offline channels that you can pick up Razer Gold also at the same time. You know, everywhere from Virgin in Middle East, for example, GameStop, so on and so forth. Today, we've got 4 million offline points where you can pick up Razer Gold at any point of time. And why would you use Razer Gold? Well, simply put, it's got an insane rewards program that we've um, kind of lined up with Razer Gold. 
and it's backed by Razer, and we call it Razer Silver. In short, every time you spend Razer Gold, you will earn Razer Silver. And whenever you spend on any of the 33,000 um, game titles, you will actually earn Razer Silver. And every dollar that you spend in Razer Gold, you will earn 50 Razer Silver. But you don't necessarily have to spend anything to earn Razer Silver. Why? We've got a multitude of different activities where you can pick up um, Razer Silver for absolutely free. We've got Pay to Play and Razer Insider, Mogul or, or Gamina and much, much more. Remember, if you are not taking advantage of Razer Silver right now, you are missing out. You're truly, truly missing out. You know, you can earn Razer Silver to redeem rewards. And if you haven't re redeemed a reward at this point of time, up till now, there have been over 300,000 rewards redeemed. And we're talking about Razer hardware, we're talking about game codes, we're talking about uh, Steam keys, and much, much more. So how many rewards have actually been redeemed absolutely free? With Razer Silver, well, over 10,000 keyboards have been redeemed, over 20,000 gaming mice and, key, uh, and mouse mats have been redeemed, over 15,000 uh, Razer audio per uh, peripherals have been redeemed at this point of time. So what I want to do is to do a quick giveaway. For all of you that use uh, Razer Gold at this point of time, we're going to give away a total of $10,000 um, worth of Razer Gold to 2,000 winners. You can enter the contest at gold.razer.com. Really quickly, I'll give you guys three seconds to go line in uh, to, to go enter the contest at this point of time. Over 33,000 games that you can actually use Razer Gold on. Razer Silver, you know, we are looking at tons and tons of these rewards at this point of time that you can use. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about Razer Silver. We've got a real great giveaway coming up with that. Make sure you're joining with that. So we've got over a million people watching this stream at this point of time. It is crazy. Anywhere from Twitch, Facebook, Huya, Bilibili, JD.com, TikTok, etc. If you've just joined us, we've still got a lot more to talk about. And let's talk about Razer Cortex really quickly. So if you are on the PC or an Android phone, and if you are a gamer, you're probably using Cortex at this point of time. So what is Razer Cortex? Pretty much it's the universal game library. We've spent a huge amount of time to ensure that we optimize your games, your PC, and, and your Android mobile. And what's really special about Cortex PC and Android is that you can get rewarded with free Razer Silver. We just talked about it just now. Remember, it's available on the PC or on the mobile. You can just search for it, Razer Cortex, and download it for your PC. Or you can go to Play Store right now and download it from uh, the Play Store. Just search for Cortex, Razer Cortex. And what we've got is something really special that we've put together recently. And we call it the Razer Silver Squad Rewards for Razer Cortex. So what do you need to do? It's really simple. Number one, form a squad of four. That's all you need to do. Or you could just play yourself. It's, it's absolutely fine if you're going in solo. You play your favorite PC games, that's it. This is for Cortex PC. You earn Razer Silver absolutely free just by playing online. The more players you bring in, the more Razer Silver will be given away. And season one, and remember season one is over. I'm gonna talk a little bit about season one. Season one had 100,000 players, over 100,000 players playing this. We had 500 winners and we gave away 2 million Razer Silver. And to put things in context, just in case you guys were not aware, just, just by playing games and earning Razer Silver, the top squad's total loot was able to, to pick up four Razer Krakens, one for each of them, four Razer Onatas, four Basilisk X Hyperspeeds, mouse mats, backpacks, apparel, just by playing and season one. So make sure you guys are lined up because we've got season two coming together. Same rules, but even more silver at this point of time. Remember, we gave away two million silver in the first season. How much are we giving away for the second season? We're giving away five million silver. Five million silver, it starts 16th of October. Remember, sign up for it at rzr.to backslash squad rewards. So ensure that you're all signed up for this at this point of time. And that's what we've got for RazorCon. And let's pull down the, the chat panel. Would love to hear what you guys think about 
you know, um, Razorcon today, we've um, announced some really insane products. We've got, uh, first up, the Razer Iska, the wor world's first true ergonomic gaming chair. It's an incredible gaming chair. We've got a Siren Mini. We've got a Kraken Kitty Bluetooth Edition. Um, we've launched uh, the Razer Tomahawk, which is shipping right after this stream. We've talked about everything from Chroma and the very cool new partners that we've got with the Christmas lights and much more. We've got Razer Gold, we've got Razer Cortex, we've got Squad Rewards. It's been a whole lot. So is this enough for all of you guys? Is this crazy enough? Have we done enough today with RazorCon for every single one of you? Let's see the, the comments at this point of time. Are you guys looking for more? Are you guys, would you guys want more today? You guys want more? Really? I, we've done so much today with RazorCon. Uh, surely it's crazy enough. Is that enough for every single person? More? All right. Who am I to say no to the Razor community? Let's hide the chat panel. So that's not all. We still have a little bit more to unveil. And this is something really, really close to my heart. We've spent an incredible amount of time building up you know, the community. And, you know, we've done so much in terms of innovation, designing, engineering, shipping great products to everywhere in the world. But one of the things that we are really passionate about over here at Razor is sustainability. Hashtag go green with Razor. That is our manifesto. We believe in sustainability right here at Razor. And the three things in our manifesto for go green with Razor are the green offices for ourselves, green products, green community. And I want to go through really quickly a little bit about this. So green offices, we've got about 16 offices worldwide. We've got thousands of employees worldwide. So early this year, we committed to a reduction in electricity consumption, a reduction in non-recyclables such as single-use plastics, and of course, a reduction in air travel, but COVID kind of really helped with respect of that. So green offices, that's something that we wanted to do. Green products. Now, all of you guys are very familiar with our products. So we ship millions of products per month everywhere in the world, all right? And every second we're shipping products somewhere to gamers everywhere out there. So what we've done is that we've revamped our product packaging. For using, we're now using FSC certified, Forest Stewardship Council certified packaging materials to ensure that they're really recyclable right now. We've moved to work. We believe we're gonna to move toward a carbon neutral company. And what we want to do is to support green initiatives with our products. And some of you will be familiar with the new packaging that we've got for our Blade laptops. And all of this is completely recyclable. You'll see that all the materials we use are FSC certified products. Even our, our packaging has gone much smaller. Remember, we ship millions of products worldwide. And every time we ship a product, they're fossil fuels that are burned in terms of logistics, freight, so on and so forth. Today, you know, we've shrunk down the packages such that in the past, we would have 540 units in each pallet. With the new um, sized uh, packaging that we have, we are now able to put 1,200 units per pallet. That's a 122% increase in the number of units per pallet. And all of this, we've been rolling it out. And you, I'm sure you guys are, are familiar with what's happening with all our products out there. And bear in mind, there are other small things that we're doing with our product packaging. This is one of them, as you can see in front of you. It's not just enough to use recyclable materials. Why? Because sometimes the glue itself will render the product or the packaging unrecyclable. So what we've done, we've done away with glue for some of our packaging. It's all completely folded. You can see the brown box over there, it's FSC certified. What we've done is to ensure that we go green with every single one of you. So we've talked about the green offices, we've talked about the green products. Let's talk about the community. So go green with Razor. It's gonna be one of our key manifestos moving forward from here. We want to work together with you to make sure that this happens. We're working closely with our external business partners to roll out these green initiatives. And we're engaging with the Razor community to make sure that we're able to bring all of this across, the same community that all of you guys are together with us. 
So how are we engaging with the Razor community? Well, it starts here. It starts today. It starts at RazorCon 2020. And we've got a really special partner that we've brought on board together to make this happen. So I'm very excited today to announce our partnership with Conservation International. So Conservation International is one of the biggest organizations in the world making this happen. So let's talk a little bit about Conservation International. Well, they've been fighting to protect nature for people since 1987. Conservation International um, essentially works to spotlight and secure critical benefits right, um, that nature provides to humanity. And the CI, or Conservation International, has protected more than 6 million square kilometers of land and sea across more than 70 countries. So what are we doing together with them? Well, Razor, together with our, together with, uh, our community, will be partnering, that's odd, will be partnering Conservation International to fund the protection of trees worldwide. So guess who we're enlisting to work with us to make this happen? Let's see the guesses on the panel. Do we have anyone? Well, well we're enlisting Snicky Snake, all right? In case you guys haven't been aware of, been following the channels and stuff like that, Snakey Snake is our new chief gaming mascot. And, and honestly, it started pretty much as a sketch done by Jonas, who is one of our designers. And he just had a baby. And he did a sketch pretty much for his own uh, little baby. And today, Snakey Snake, we've shared that, has become one of the most requested designs by the Razer community. And it's not just requested, it's been demanded for. We've got people tattooing logos, all right, of the danger noodle right on them, saying we want to have Snakey Snake. We want to have Snakey Snake as a plushie. They've asked for the plushie over and over again. And we thought, well, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to make the plushie, but we're going to make sure that if we do make the plushie, it is for a good cause. So I'm sure all of you guys Want to see what Snakey Snake looks like? The plushie? Here we go. This is Snakey Snake from the front. This is Snakey Snake from the side. And this is Snakey Snake from the other side. I never thought the day would come that I would be presenting Snakey Snake or anything like it. And here's Snakey Snake everywhere. All right? So this is Snakey Snake. But bear in mind, Snakey Snake is not just going to be a plushie. Snakey Snake has a mission. What is this mission? And this is a mission I want every single one of you to remember. This is how we're bringing the community together. We're going to make this happen. Every Snakey Snake sold saves 10 trees. Now say it with me on the chat panel and say it quickly if you can because there's a little bit of a tongue twister. Every Snakey Snake sold saves 10 trees, all right? Every Snakey Snake sold saves how many trees? 10 trees. And we're putting this on a thermometer on our website, rzr.to backslash snakey dash snake, we're going to track the number of trees that are saved by the sales of Snakey Snake. So we're working very closely with our friends at Conservation International to make this happen. We are targeting 100,000 trees. That's 400 acres of forest land. And where will these trees be? Everywhere from Costa Rica to South Africa, to Fiji, Snakey Snake is going to go everywhere. And Snakey Snake is on your Chroma-enabled um, keyboards at this point of time, it's just snaking around. So in light of this, we've done a very special documentary trailer. We're not actually going to do the, the documentary itself, but we thought we'd put together a really special trailer for everyone. And we worked very closely with our friends Dopa2 and Thales Mara to put together this really cool documentary trailer. Would you guys like to see it? We're playing a part for the environment. I, I can see a whole bunch of people wanting to see the Snakey Snake documentary trailer. It's a very short trailer. Well, here we go. Check it out. Deep in the heart of a verdant forest, the Snakey Snake stirs in its lair. 
it's hungry and it's on the hunt. The ever elusive predator has mastered the art of hiding in plain sight, remaining undetected through a combination of ingenious camouflage and stealth. It's not long before it spots its unsuspecting quarry. With a 100% hunt success rate, there is no chance of escape. Snaky snakes are known to hunt prey up to 20 times their size, and their skill at stalking is only matched by their voracious appetite for snuggles. <coughs> In all seriousness, though, Snakey is part of Razor's latest push for sustainability, as the sale of every Snakey Snake plushie will go towards saving 10 trees with the help of Conservation International, an organization committed to protecting our planet. Now more than ever, we need to take a stand for nature, because we need her more than we realize. Find out more about Snakey Snake and Conservation International here. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the trailer for the documentary. I don't think we'll ever make it a full documentary. Well, maybe we will, who knows, right? A whole documentary on Snakey Snake. If the community asks for it, I might. No, I'm just kidding, I'm never gonna make it. So, I'm sure all of you guys are asking, how do we, no, I'm, I'm serious, I'm not gonna make the documentary. I've already made the plushie, all right? So let's just stay at that. So, no, you do not, Momi Mallow, you, you do not need the, the full documentary. So. How much does the plushie go for? Well, essentially, this is the ultra-cute Snakey Snake plushie. It's just going to be $29.99, available right after this um, keynote. It's going to be available at Razor.com. Make sure you're rushing out. We've got very limited quantities of the Snakey Snake at the start, but we're going to have more Snakey Snakes. This is a bit of a tongue twister. We're going to have more Snakey Snakes come through in the next couple of weeks, but um, it's available today on Razor.com. And remember, say it with me, Every snakey snake sold saves 10 trees, all right? Every snakey snake sold saves 10 trees, and that's something that we're very, very happy about. And I see somebody wants stickers of snakey snake, and we'll see if we can sneak a couple of stickers of snakey snake together with our shipments out there. You can track the progress of the trees that we've saved together. Go green with razor together. We're gonna to be able to track the um, progress at r0.to backslash snakey dash snake. And this is what we've got, but wait! There is still more. We want to do more together with you guys, and we are gonna give you guys something absolutely free to every single one of you with uh, Android phones on WhatsApp, because we want you to spread the word of Snakey Snake to as many people out there. You're gonna be able to download all these, and my favorite one over there is actually the bottom left, the Save Trees one by uh, uh, Snakey Snake. You can just download all these free WhatsApp stickers that you can send to all your friends right now. Just go to Google Play, check it out, search and download for free Razor stickers. Download and you can spread the word to every single one of you, your friends, all right? Save trees, and that's something that's near and dear to our hearts. Go green with Razor. So, ladies and gentlemen, this uh, concludes at least our first keynote, and we're going to have lots more happening for the rest of the day. Remember, we've just barely gotten started. We're going to have uh, Pedro come online right after this to do PC builds. We've got all new games that we're going to be teasing and launching, and we've got massive giveaways for the rest of the day. But this is it. I conclude my keynote here today. It's been a huge honor to be here together with you, and I'm now going to pass you guys back to Vegas Razor Store. Over to you guys. <laughs>